with high-profile surrogates crisscrossing the country to bolster support for their favoured candidates, the mood remains tense. From high petrol prices, high inflation, to the socio-cultural issues of abortion, crime and public safety and immigration, drawing dividing lines between the two major parties and their supporters. As we'll see, these races are very, very close. And any movement that we see, and I've been through so many close races so many times, uh, they are swinging one way, swinging another way, swinging back the original way and then swinging back. And I don't know when the swing ends. Republicans are still favored to retake control of the House of Representatives, where all 435 seats are in play. But of the 34 Senate seats on the ballot this cycle, most are in either strong Republican or strong Democratic districts, meaning that just a handful of those seats could determine which party controls the upper house, which not only influences legislation, but also key administration appointments and federal judicial nominees, including to the Supreme Court. Latest polling from the New York Times Siena College poll this week showed the split in four key battleground Senate races that could determine the outcome. In Arizona, Democrat incumbent Mark Kelly leads Republican Blake Masters 51 to 45 percent. In Battleground, Pennsylvania, Democrat John Fetterman leads Republican Mehmet Oz 49 to 44 percent. In Georgia, incumbent Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock leads Republican Herschel Walker 49 to 46 percent. And in Nevada, Democratic Senator Catherine Cortez Masto is in a dead heat with Republican Adam Laxalt at 47 percent even. Overall, uh, the United States and its voters are in a very sour mood. Over 70 percent feel the country is headed in the wrong direction. One might argue that that may be the only point of consensus between Democrats and Republicans is the right direction, wrong track. Now, there will be different uh, folks blaming different folks, but suffice it to say that at least historically, that right direction, wrong track number has its most serious impact on an incumbent president or CEO and on that incumbent's party. And so we check a box for a negative for Democrats uh, on that one. Zogby says this sour mood continues to manifest itself in hyper-polarization, emblematic of politics in the 21st century. This is another Armageddon election, but it's Armageddon plus. Because in every election in the past, there is a common set of issues that everybody agrees on. And one party says, this is how we will attack these issues. And the other party says, no, this is how we will attack these issues. The difference today, two different parties, two different sets of issues, two different realities, two different sets of facts to support those realities. It is like two planets revolving around the sun and on separate orbits. The most important election in a generation, say the politicians, like they did the last time, and the time before that, and so on. Sherman Bryceby's SABC News, New York.